What's up guys, it's DMA from Martial Club and today we're continuing our Tricks How To series. The next move is Aerial. It's a cartwheel without hands, it looks cool. It's probably the simplest, safest flip you can learn. Now, uh, there are actually two types of aerials. One is uh, running straight on approach. We call it a wushu aerial, where your legs are straight and they go straight over your head. The other we like to call a tricking aerial. It's more of a side-to-side -side motion and you do it off axis. Today we're going to be teaching you the tricking aerial because uh, it's a bit easier and safer to learn and it has more utility. You can do a uh, tricking aerial from many setups. You can do it from a hook kick, you can do it from a spin step, you can do it from a 540 and it'll just be able to fit into your combos in a lot of different areas. Prerequisites for the aerial. First, you want to be able to cartwheel, obviously. Then, you want to be able to butterfly kick. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and check out our butterfly kick tutorial. And you want good flexibility for this move. So now that you guys have cartwheels, I want you guys to start doing them faster. This is meant to train your leg whip to go over the top because in an aerial, you're not going to have that much time in the air. So with this drill, you want to be able to train your legs to whip over the top and ride that rotation all the way over. Also, feel free to wind up for a faster whip on your cartwheels. So if you guys have seen our butterfly kick tutorial, you know that you can approach a cartwheel or a butterfly kick with what's called a spin step. It's a way for you to add momentum and speed and make it drastically easier to get your legs over your body. Um, when you do this, you, it can either work for you or against you. So you want to be able to do it without thinking about it. You want to do it smoothly and with a lot of relaxation. And that way it'll help your body feel lighter as you go through the move. So really quick, I'm going to explain. Just recap. If you want it in more detail, be sure to check out our butterfly kick tutorial. But basically you're going to wind. You're going to step with your right foot and swing back with your left foot. And at this point, you should be in the right position to throw the cartwheel. So the spin step, if done correctly, should make your cartwheel feel significantly lighter and faster. So now that you guys can do the spin step to cartwheel, I want you guys to try to do it with one hand, okay? So the idea with this drill is to be able to do your spin step, ride it into your cartwheel, and what you want to really focus on is kicking your legs over the top, okay? I'll demonstrate one really quickly. Right here, kick your legs over the top, okay? Feel free to push off your hands for this one. So the main focus of this exercise is to train the leg whip over the top. And if you're gonna cartwheel on your left side, this is your left side, if you're gonna cartwheel on your left side, you're gonna use your left hand. If you're gonna, if you cartwheel on your right side, you're gonna use your right hand. Okay, so this next step is a very unorthodox way to teach an aerial, but I've used this to teach and it's worked every time. So um, I like to call this the one-legged aerial. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same setup, okay? Spin step like you normally would. And what you're gonna do is dip your shoulder and kick your right leg up like you would for a cartwheel. The only difference is your left leg is gonna stay on the ground, okay? And this is where flexibility comes in. So, um, what you're gonna do, again, spin step, dip and kick your leg over and whip. You should feel the same whip as you would for a cartwheel, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate one. Alright, so when you do this drill, you should really feel yourself whip over the top. And if you do this correctly, you should be facing the opposite direction of where you started. Yes. So this next step, I want you guys to do the exact same thing uh, as the one-legged aerial. And this time, I want you guys to do it a little bit slower, okay? Um, so don't worry so much about the axis, alright? I want you guys to do the spin step as you normally would. And here, you can slow it down a bit, but you still want to dip your shoulder and kick your leg over, all right? Now, the only thing, the only difference here is you're going to jump from this leg over to this leg. So let me demonstrate one very slowly for you. Kick over, dip your shoulder, jump from your left leg onto your right leg, okay? You could do it as slow as I just did right there. This is a good drill to practice. So now that you got that down and you're able to do it slowly, all you gotta do from there, as simple as it sounds, is to do it faster, okay? So now what I want you guys to do is the same drill, you know, dip and kick your leg over faster and really try to utilize your spin step to get that lift to get over, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate it, half speed for you. Okay, 
You can you may actually practice at that speed as well. Ideally you want to be able to do it faster. Alright guys, were you able to do that? There's your aerial, there's your aerial. <laughs> It's an aerial, and it might not look like much at first, but now all you gotta do is work out the little kinks and refine the details. So you wanna have straight legs, like in our butterfly kick, and like in our butterfly kick tutorial, make sure you lift from your glutes, point your toes, and uh, make sure you're keeping the axis as upright as possible. So one thing you might do to help that is when you dip, make sure you're dipping as close to your thigh as possible. Make sure you whip your legs straight over your head. So now that you have all the pieces, keep one thing in mind. Throw it with conviction. Every trick you do, you gotta throw it like you mean it, and make sure you don't hesitate. All right, can I show them a good aerial real quick? Yes. yes. <laughs> Okay guys, that was the aerial. It's uh, one of the first flips you learn. It's a move where you do a whole rotation over your head without touching the floor. So it's a pivotal first step in tricking. Show us what you learned. If you guys learned an aerial watching this tutorial, be sure to post a video of yourself doing it in the comments below. Um, give us some feedback. If you uh, saw anything that wasn't clear, make sure you mention it in the comments below. Also give us suggestions for future tutorials. Uh, if you guys liked what you saw, be sure to like this video, subscribe to Marshall Club, uh, support us on Patreon. And uh, if you guys are interested in Marshall Club shirts, remember they're on sale at BigCartel.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and we will see you on the next one.